sweetie, you're home. Did you bring me anything? What have you done all day? There's not a place for me to set this down. I don't want to even ask who these belong to. Oh, those, uh, those must have gotten mixed up at the laundromat. This place is a mess. I mean, what happened? Did you fight off home invaders that ransacked my house, or did you have a party? Oh, Jerry came over and we ate pizza and watched football. So I have to clean up after people all day, and then I have to come home and clean up after a sloppy, redneck drunk? Oh, stop your whining. I was going to clean it up, but I fell asleep. Sorry, sugar. You're unbelievable. So you haven't even left the house all day? What, are you my new parole officer? I went to the courthouse and I paid my fines. Then I worked on the car and Jerry came over. Roscoe? I saw him choking down a chicken bone the other day. Roscoe? I think this might have been Roscoe. I guess that explains why his food dish hasn't been touched in a while. Devin, you really should be more responsible. What are you talking about? I'm responsible. I worked on my car. Did you fix it? No, well, I fed the dog. The dog's dead. You know, Roscoe didn't deserve to die like he did. He was always there for me and you. All you ever do is lie to people and spend the rest of your time laying on your lazy ass on the couch or under a car. Babe, you're really killing my buzz. What exactly are you saying? I wish you'd go back to your ex-wife or mother. What? No. You know what? I, I want you out. I'm tired of being your maid. Do you hear it over there? Cheese and crackers, not again. Devin, get up.
can't tell. I don't know. He always no looks knocked out to me. Ooh, let's poke him with the broom and see if he moves. We need to put his body in the car and then destroy all the evidence. Oh, don't be such a drama queen. If he was dead, he would be losing all of his bodily fluids, right? You watch too many crime shows. We're here to help, Stephanie, remember? Yes, okay, okay, I'm sorry. Ooh, poke him again and see if he moves now. It's not working. How about CPR? Well, how do you do that? Um, lift the legs? Breathe in the mouth and see if the chest moves. Mm, what's that smell? It was the body fluids. Oh, it's my dead dog. What? You killed the dog too? No, no, Devin killed the dog. But you killed Devin? Uh, no, I never killed anyone that I know of. Maybe I've knocked out a few men in my life, but... Stephanie, it doesn't matter. Everybody grab a limb and let's carry him to the car. Oh. oh. Oh my god, he's heavy for a skinny guy. Oh, 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 oh my back. Don't drop him. Who the best Jesus Christ? I don't want to sit next to him. Why don't we go in separate cars? Because we have to all go together and make a plan. Ooh, we can have a yard sale and get rid of everything. Hey, that's my stuff you're talking about. We have to get rid of all the trace evidence. Well, where are we taking him? I mean, you can't take him to a hospital. I have a cousin twice removed. She's a vet. Well, how's the vet one going to help us? <sighs> Not a war vet, a veterinarian. So, she likes vegetables? No, she's an animal doctor. She could really help us. She was almost a medical doctor, but she found working with animals was much easier. Oh my lord, it's the cops! Oh, okay, now everybody just be cool. Ma'am, are you in a hurry? Uh, no, sir. I'm just going to work. This is a residential area. You need to slow it down a little bit. Uh, yes, is sir. Is he okay? Oh, yeah. He's fine. Oh, he's fine. just uh, sleeping one off. Well, I'm going to give you a warning this time. But, uh, you need to slow it down. It's a residential area. Children at play. We need to keep them safe. Yes, sir. bump on his head right here and uh he smells like cheap beer uh I, I i'll get an ice pack and and put it on his head and i think he's just unconscious he should be okay uh why don't y'all go back home and go to work and and i'll watch after him and just just make sure you got your alibis alibis that sounds so serious this is serious. Hello? Yes, ma'am. I'm on my way. I'll bring the tranquilizers. Search for him. 
listen ladies, what we have here is a bad situation. We have to draw up plans to cover the disappearance of, of Devin. Oh my gosh. We don't know what happened. We were last seen with them. I'm not going back to prison. Hey, gentle pictures. I mean, really, we don't know what happened to them. We left them at the zoo. Unconscious. If I do go back to prison, I'm gonna pretend to be a cannibal. That way they'll leave me alone. Mmm, tastes good. <laughs> Stephanie, if you go back to prison, just be yourself. That'll scare them. We have to get rid of this crocodile. You guys gotta break into the zoo. What? Break into the zoo? Well, then we'll all go to prison. How much do those things weigh? A thousand tons? What about the cops? First things first, we have to get rid of this crocodile. He's what ties us to Devin. I found Devin's shoe in his stomach. You guys have to break into the zoo and make it look like a burglary. Steal the crocodile. But we've got to get our story straight. He disappeared. Maybe some space aliens abducted him. I hear people disappearing all the time, just vanishing into thin air. Mm -hmm. Or maybe he ticked off the wrong people. You know the Mafia make people disappear all the time. Good, stick to that story. Well, which one? The aliens or the Mafia? The one that makes more sense. The, the aliens. aliens. Can we take the mask off now? I'm, I'm suffocating. Yeah, I don't think there should be any more cameras around here. Well, I'm glad I didn't wear mine. I didn't want to break up my curls. Oh. Okay, we have to break into Michelle's office and get Corky. Corky who? Corky's the alligator. Uh, well, he has a name? I oh, don't know. The list of victims just gets longer. Let's get this over with. Girl, I feel like Miss Daphne from Scooby-Doo. Remember, we've got to make it look like a robbery. Why don't we use this shook? There was once this rich guy that came into Arians. He told me that once he offered this guy $5,000 to steal a cockatoo so that his chef could prepare a meal for him. Uh -huh. Then he had the feathers made into a hat. Uh, what did you tell him? I said, honey, a zoo is not a grocery store. <laughs> what a weirdo. <laughs> yeah, but he tipped good. <laughs> There goes my milk again, Chef. Oh, 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 gross. Oh, oh, gross. Oh, 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 no. It's Devin's shoe. He ain't Devin for sure. I'm gonna bury him in my garden with a tiny cross. Girl, wouldn't that be suspicious? Mm. Well, okay, I'll, I'll bury Roscoe with him. Can we go by the dump and pick him up? Ugh. Not only are you sick, you're crazy. Stephen, I, we, have taken your boyfriend that you knocked out to the zoo to be watched over by a veterinarian. And then we believe that a crocodile ate him. And now we are going to take the crocodile and bury it and get some of the poop, AKA Devon, and your dead dog Roscoe from the dump. Is that asking too much? I'm sorry, Sharon and y'all. I... I'm sorry for all the trouble that I've caused, and I promise, I promise that I will finish the anger management course the next time. There will be no next time. We are going to get rid of this crocodile. Then we are going to get rid of that shoe, and we're going to leave your dead dog where it is in the dump. Then we are going to go back to work. If my man can skin a deer, I reckon he can skin a crocodile. What 
are you doing? Cooking at a time like this? Well, because I need to get rid of all the evidence. What? You killed him with meat and vegetables? No, just a leg of lamb. We need to clean up this place. It smells kind of funky. No offense. Oh, none taken. Living with Devon's like living with a parasite. Huh? You know, a creature that lives off its prey. We need to clean up your whole house. All right, I've, I've got garbage bags. We can fill them up and take them to the goodwill. Okay. Hello, ladies. Welcome back. Look, I can explain. Never mind, just back to work. Uh-uh. No shoes, no shirt, no service. Be no shirt, no shoes. 